Let my whole life be expressions of your grace. Dear listener, welcome to Hour of Destiny devotional with Reverend Mike Inula of Habitation of Winners Ministry International. Happy listening. Hello, good morning. Welcome to Hour of Destiny Daily Devotional and Spiritual Breakfast with Reverend Mike Eniola. Welcome to Friday, the 27th of January, year 2023. Open your mouth this morning wherever you are, hearing the sound of my voice this morning, and let me pray and bless you. I pray for you today that your hands will be on top. In the name of Jesus Christ, I am decreeing into somebody's life this morning, and that person is you, because you agree with me and you are saying amen. I want to decree into your life today that you will have no reason to regret great being alive this year. This year, 2023, the Lord says is our year of breaking new ground, the year of great increase. I am praying for somebody this Friday morning. The Lord will make you to break new grounds and the Lord will cause you to increase and to prosper. In the name of Jesus, whatever pits or pits that enemies have dug for you and your immediate family this year, I declare them counseled in Jesus' name. Every satanic arrangement, every agenda that the enemy have put together to humiliate and to hurt you this year, I cancel them by fire, by thunder, in Jesus' name. Today is Friday. I want to pray for all travelers. I decree and I declare that every journey shall be peaceful. The enemy will have no reason to double-cross you in your journey this year, in Jesus' name. Oh, I am praying for pregnant women. The Lord will help you. The Lord will cause you to have a smooth and safe delivery, in Jesus' name. I want to pray for all business owners, contractors, school proprietors, and no school owners from nursery even to tertiary institutions. You own a school, you are running an institution. I am praying that the Lord will hate your institution. The Lord will back you up. The Lord will prosper you. The Lord will increase you in Jesus' name. Oh, I am praying for those that are sick this morning. Maybe as you are hearing me this morning, you are seriously in pain. I command the healing power of God to touch you right now. Wherever you are hearing the sound of my voice, be it in the hospital or at home, I command the healing virtue of God is going out now and is touching you and you are healed in Jesus' name. I am praying against the spirit of insanity. I am praying against the spirit of diabetes, hypertension, glaucoma, cataract. I am praying against the spirit and the disease I mean, the spirit and the demon that is behind that sickness or disease you are having in Jesus' name. I am praying every one of us today, we shall go out in peace and return back in peace in Jesus' name. You are blessed and you are lifted. Somebody shout amen. I believe as I receive. Hallelujah. Beloved, today is day 26th of our ongoing fasting and prayers. We're going to be rounding up by God's grace on Tuesday. It is going to be with a global anointing. So wherever you are, start getting ready. It's going to be global communion service. So start getting ready your communion materials. You can also get ready your anointing oil. I'm going to be praying over every material on that day. And we are trusting God for those of us in the city of Lokoja. We're going to be having a mega program on that day. Join us by Tuesday, 31st of January, 5 p.m. Come to our headquarter church along Crusher Road. It's Glory Cathedral of the Habitation of Winners. Let's come together to break our fast. Just come. And we are trusting God that for those of you in the diaspora, we are believing God to show it live for us on Facebook so that you also can follow and participate. May the Lord bless every one of us. For those of you that will be coming for the service on Tuesday, come with your communion materials. And if you cannot lay hand on, you can come, you get within the church premises, you can get in our bookshop. God bless you. Now, today's topic is youthful and useful. Youthful 
and useful. It may be that it's been directed to the youth, but it's for everyone. Useful, I mean, youthful and useful. And our Bible reading is taken from 1 Samuel chapter 17, verse 55. First Samuel 17, verse 55. The Bible says, And when Saul saw David go forth against the Philistine, he said unto Abner, the captain of the host, Abner, whose son is this youth? And Abner said, As thy soul liveth, O king, I cannot tell. This is talking about David right from his youthful age, right from when he was very young, he had been a useful instrument in the hand of the Lord. As you hear me this morning, you also, you can yield yourself to God Almighty and make yourself available to be useful instrument in God's hand. Exhortation. David began his usefulness in God's service from his youthful age. Yes, he began. He did not wait until he became matured or an adult. Right from his youthful age, he started being useful unto God. As a young person, what are you using your youthful stage to do for God? Yes, what are you using your energy, your strength, your charisma, your talent what are you using them to do? Are you using them to worship and to praise God? Or you are using them to win souls for the devil? I pray you will not be a useful instrument in the hand of Satan. To be useful for God, you must consider the following. Yes, if you are going to be useful for the kingdom of God, take note of these following things. Number one, you must first have an encounter with Jesus. You must first have an encounter. Don't be like some people who are claiming to be representing Jesus, but they are not born again. So the first thing you must consider, if you are going to be useful for the kingdom, you must have an encounter with Jesus. Number two, you must be ready to spend and be spent for his kingdom. You must be ready to spend and be spent for his kingdom. Read Luke chapter 18, verse 29. Luke chapter 18, verse 29. Number three, don't look at the immediate gains. It will pay off tomorrow. Yes, if you are going to be useful for God, don't look at the immediate now. Don't look at what you stand to gain now. Just be committed to the service of God it will pay off for you later. Number four, don't mind whatever anyone can say. Just be focused. Yes, don't mind whatever anyone can say. You just be focused and be useful for the kingdom. Number five, which is the last one, be ready to go extra miles for Christ's sake. Be ready to go to extra miles. Be ready to do anything for the propagation of the gospel things that are legitimate for the expansion of the kingdom. Make yourself available. This is how to be youthful and useful. Prayers for today. Lord, help me to be useful for you in Jesus' name. Yes, there are people today that are useful for the devil. They belong to different kind of secret cults. They belong to all kind of society. They are making themselves available for the devil to use them. But I put it to you this morning. You need to pray. Say, Father, please help me to be useful for you in Jesus' name. Then secondly, every spirit stagnating and tormenting my destiny, die by the sword. Every spirit stagnating and tormenting my destiny, I command you to die by the sword. I pray for you this morning that you will be useful for God. Your entire family shall be useful for the kingdom of God in Jesus' name. And I decree that whatever power it is that is tormenting your destiny, making your journey to be longer than necessary, today I cut them off in Jesus' name. I pray for everyone hearing me this morning. By the mandate of God, the Lord will bless you. I pray for all our contact persons across the nation. The Lord will increase you. The Lord will prosper you. The Lord will bless you. We have one of our sisters in Canada who have made herself available. If you are in Canada and you need a soft copy of my book, Don't Create That Mess, we are going to paste the number of this our beloved sister on our various group chat. She already have the soft copy of the book, Don't Create That Mess. Even the soft copy of the prayer booklet is with her. You can just check her number on the group chat, make a call across to her. Anywhere you are in Canada, 
She can forward the soft copy to you and you make your donation. I pray the Lord will bless you. Like I said, the prayer booklet is not only limited, the prayer points there are not only limited for this season of prayer and fasting. You can still be praying them even after we might have finished this fast. May the Lord bless you today. May the Lord increase you. May the Lord prosper you. May God make you happy today. And may this day end well. In Jesus' name, you are blessed. Have a wonderful and a glorious day. Amen. Daily as I live, often as I breathe, let my whole life be expressions of your grace. Hour of Destiny, presented by Reverend Mike Inula of Habitation of Winners Ministry International. We invite you to worship with us on Sunday by 8.30 a.m. and Wednesday 5 p.m. Venue, His Glory Cathedral of Habitation of Winners Church after Waiek Office along Cruiser Road, Lokoja, Kogi State, Nigeria. For prayers and counseling, contact us on 0806-211. 5571 or 0803 797 4748. Rose Form produced the program. Thank you for listening and God bless you. Hey.